All right, my friends. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a little bit of slime in case you wanna make some at home with your parents, okay? So first, we're gonna go over the ingredients. I know you guys like playing with this at school, so maybe you can make it at home as a little science project. All right, first, you're gonna have need some starch. And we use this after we wash our clothes to iron our clothes to make sure it's nice and, and um, ironed so it doesn't have any wrinkles on it. Um, I usually find this at Walmart over by the detergents and the laundry stuff. So that's starch. We're also gonna use just regular white glue. All right. And we're gonna use food coloring. All right, food coloring. You could always also use paint if you wanna use tempera paint, that works too. And that's it, those are the only three ingredients we need. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bowl, any bowl you want. And first you're gonna add the starch. So you add the starch. And it doesn't really have exact measurements. Just add, add a good amount of starch in there. Oop. Okay. Next, we're gonna add a glue. Okay, there you go. A little bit more. I'm gonna share this with my neighbors. I'm gonna give it to them after I'm done with it. So I'm gonna make a little bit more. But you can make as much as you want. If you need, want to make more, you just add more glue. Next, you're gonna get your hands dirty. This is the fun part. You're gonna start mixing it all in. You're gonna mix it and mix it for a while, okay? You're gonna mix it like that just keep playing with it so you see how it's starting to get slimy the stickiness is starting to go away because of the starch the starch makes the glue thicken and gets less sticky so you just keep mixing it for a good while Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. This is the fun part. It feels so nice. It's so soft. Okay. Just like that. Alright, All right, once the slime looks pretty thick, and it's not too sticky anymore, you're gonna take it off the bowl, out of the bowl. And you're gonna put it on the table or anywhere, wherever you're making your slime that you don't mind getting dirty. All right, you do that. And then you're gonna keep playing with it here. And as the starch dries, you're gonna see the slime start to develop. You're gonna keep folding it over and playing with it. And don't worry if it gets too stretchy like this, like a spider web. That just means it needs to dry more. So you just keep playing with it, okay? Just have to be patient and give it some time. You keep playing with it. Just like that. See how it's see how it's thickening up. It's starting to get stretchy like slime, see? You just have to let the starch dry a little bit more. Just like that. There we go. There you go. You see how it's forming? Just gotta let the starch dry out. So remember, if you feel like it's still too, too wet, if it's, it looks like a spider web, that means you just gotta keep playing with it. Okay. There you go. Now, once it's pretty solid, once it starts feeling more like slime, then you stretch it out. Kind of like a tortilla or like a pizza. Then you add the color. So I'm gonna make purple. I'll make a purple one. I like purple. 
Remember, you can use paint, you can use tempera paint, you can use wood coloring, whichever one works as well. So you add a few drops, depending on how dark you want it. So you fold it over. And then you start mixing it. See that? See how the color is being distributed throughout the slime? Let's see. Let's see. Pick up the extra starch. See that? Now I'm getting purple slime. Just keep playing with it and it's going to keep getting more and more purple. Because we have to fill up all the slime with the purple. See that? And if you want it darker, you can add more food coloring. And there we go. You could also make different colors. So if you make smaller amounts of slime, separate it, and you can make different colors too. See? Just like that. And there you have it. Easy as that. You have some slime. All right. So let me know. Let me know if you do it. Let me know if, how it comes out. And have fun, okay? All right, you guys. Be safe. I'll talk to you on Thursday.